Judge Creek has completed his placings in the summer yearling class in the Ayrshire Show. Our second place junior winner is entry 427, Hindsight Rosetta, exhibited by Emily Hatch from Houghton, New York. Our first place junior is entry 217, Emerald Farms Reagan Nita, exhibited by Jodrian Sheets from Winchester, Ohio. Third place in the class is entry 231, Old and Lazy Acclaimed Wish ET, exhibited by Kale Chase and Caden Cannon from Epworth, Iowa. Second in the class and first bred known is entry 233, Stylin R. Maleficent, exhibited by Leslie and Linda Brucci from Westminster, Maryland. And winning the class is entry 227, Old and Lazy ACC B. King Mafia ET, exhibited by Kale Chase and Caden Cannon and Cooper Wolf from Gutenberg, Iowa. Congratulations. Judge, your comments. Excellent depth and quality in this summer yearling class in the Ayrshire Ring and a heifer that sorted herself to the top of the class and her femininity, that quality of bone, that, that angularity she carries throughout her frame. She's just tall and long and sharp and chiseled out of that vertebrae, free of flesh down through that rib structure. A, cow that, or a heifer that walks on a tremendous set of feet and legs as well. Really admire the quality she has throughout. It's that quality that uh, the calf in second follows in kind with, a calf that has a tremendously long neck, a thin hide and a heifer that walks again on a very excellent set of feet and legs. Not quite the, the width of front end or the size or scale and strength up through that front end to get her over the heifer in first, but a heifer whose quality, angularity, quality of bone down through her hock places her over a large, well-grown heifer in third. Heifer in third, we love the size, the scale, the depth, the side profile, the strength, the top line. Uh, like to like to refine that hawk, make that hawk a little bit more feminine to get her above the other two, but a, a heifer we'd love to see calved out for the exhibitor. Calf in third places over the August calf in fourth. It's that straightness of top line, a little bit more correct in the way she walks on those rear legs as we watch her from behind, wider of that hawk as she moves through the ring today, but an August calf in fourth that has that smoothness and blending of parts and balance that gives her an advantage over the heifer in fifth. Heifer in fifth, would love to see her, love this heifer in fifth, love to see her a little stronger in that loin structure, a little higher and, and straighter up over that, uh, that chine region, a heifer that tracks again on an excellent set of feet and legs. It's that correctness of feet and legs and that width of rump structure that gives her an advantage over the white heifer coming out behind her in fifth, or in sixth. Heifer in sixth, you love the side profile, this heifer, the depth and openness and angularity. I also admire the way she moves on those rear feet and legs with a little bit more spring to her step and flex to that hock than a big heifer following her out in seventh. Heifer in seventh over the heifer in eighth, it's that size and scale, that depth, that width, that power, that strength through that front end that places her over a very angular heifer following her out in class. Very nice class of summer yearlings out here in the Ayrshire Ring. Congratulations to all those exhibitors.